वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल बिकम ए मास्टर ऑफ कैट डिजाइन वी आर इन पार्ट फाइव ऑफ डिजाइनिंग डाय कास्टिंग मोल्ड वेस इन पार्ट वन वी क्रिएटेड दिस स्केच पार्ट विच इज आवर असेंबली ले आउट इन सेकेंड पार्ट वी क्रिएटेड दिस असेंबली ले आउट एंड असेंबल दिस स्केच पार्ट इन एवरी पार्ट ऑफ आवर मोल्ड वेस इन थर्ड पार्ट वी क्रिएटेड दिस फिक्स हाउसिंग पार्ट एंड इन फोर्थ पार्ट वी क्रिएटेड आवर स्प्रूबूस एंड आवर कूलिंग रिंग सो इन दिस फिफ्थ पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन आवर गाइड पिलर एंड रिटर्न पिन पैड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आवर गाइड पिलर फॉर दिस हाइड ऑल our mold base assembly and uh, activate our guide pillar only and double click on guide pillar to activate this you can see the sketch inside our guide pillar which is assembled which is our uh, assembly level sketch now we are going to link some uh, sketch inside our guide pillar part for this go to assembly wave geometry linker and select the sketch and select this sketch which is our guide pillar and guide bus sketch press it okay now we can see this sketch is linked inside our uh, guide pillar part hide this sketch part inside our guide pillar can see this uh, linked sketch now we are going to use this sketch to create our guide pillar for reference we are going to show our fix housing and now we are going to home we need uh, some dimension before start creating our uh, guide pillar so go to analysis and measure use uh, entire assembly you can see the diameter is 60 okay the next value we want the distance in select this face and select this bottom face that is 80 mm go to extrude select one of the curve in our uh, linked sketch extrude at the height of 80 offset this single side inside minus 5 mm press it okay now hide this uh, fix housing you can measure this uh, outer diameter 60 according to our fix housing the depth is 80 create another extrude go to extrude and select this edge and extrude it at a height of 125 this height uh, depend on your uh, casting uh, part height and uh, according to our an edge now we are going to offset this single side we use the clearance 2.5 okay and we use unite which is uh, automatically selected and body is automatically selected press it okay now we are going to hide this link sketch add some clearance for this go to extrude select this bottom edge and uh, extrude it in the different direction at 15 mm and uh, for this we are going to use subtract but uh, we use two side offset and uh, we use starting offset is 0 and uh, end offset is 0.5 so the dip between this top uh, diameter to this uh, is 0.5 per side press it okay we are going to add uh, some chamfer on bottom we use uh, chamfer the size of 3 okay press it okay and uh, after that we are going to create a threaded hole which is m12 and select base point of our uh, guide pillar we select m12 our thread depth is 25 and the hole depth is 30 and we are going to subtract this press it okay now we are going to add some radius on that here we add the radius 1.5 mm press it okay we also need to add uh, some chamfer here we use uh, offset and angle for this and the distance we use 10 mm and the angle is 15 is okay and press it okay add some radius of 3 mm 
press it ok add some more radius here uh, maybe increase 5 mm press it ok now we are going to add some groove inside our pillar we are going to use intersection curve go to intersection curve use the filter single face and select this face and now select specify plane and select this plane we are going to use this at a distance and we are going to use the distance maybe 15 it's maybe change according to standard and press it ok next we are going to use cube to sweep this ok you can find this tube inside more and here tube inside sweep section and select this we are going to increase the outer diameter which is 2 mm and press it apply ok now we are going to pattern this for this go to home more and here you can find inside copy pattern geometry select this and select this object and select this direction and we use the pitch distance 15 and number of count we use 7 you can also increase if your pillar length is uh, longer than this size if you want this uh, page distance less you can also use but we are going to use 15 and 7 press it ok subtract all of this go to subtract this is our target body and this is our tool body and this tube is also and press it ok now we are going to hide this uh, intersection curve and now our guide pillar is ready now we can also change the color we already changed the color in starting so you can also change the color maybe yellow you want so yellow ok now save this and go to top level assembly activate uh, our uh, fix uh, housing now you can see how much degree of freedom available there are uh, 3 degree of uh, rotation and 3 degree of transition and here is 6 degree of freedom so we need to constant this first we are going to move this uh, pillar outside the assembly and uh, now refresh this to remove this sign update display and now go to assembly and uh, use the constant this and select this is and this edge okay press it okay again we are going to copy this so for this move object and uh, select here copy and one here one here and one here okay next again use the same command select this is and this is apply select this is carefully and then this is apply and again use this is and this is okay now you can see how much degree of freedom in guide pillar so degree of freedom we need to select one by one so we need to unpack this and then select one guide pillar and so degree of freedom there is one rotation degree of freedom only so guide pillar can rotate there is no problem in that and see on the bottom is perfectly match with our uh, fixed housing transparent this bottom face we can see you can also use section to see the matching area we are going to create this uh, return pin pad activate uh, return pin pad so the sketch of uh, return pin pad and uh, we need to hide uh, this fix housing and all other guide pillars you can see we are in the return pin pad now we are going to link some sketch for return pin go to web geometry linker and uh, select a sketch and select this sketch press it ok this sketch is for return pin which we created in our sketch layout and now hide this sketch part and save this 
okay now we have this sketch for reference we are going to show our uh, fix housing now we are going to extrude this sketch select one of sketch and we are going to offset this single side which is uh, 2.5 mm big then our diameter of return pin and this height is works 30 mm so use 30 okay and press it okay our extrude is complete next we are going to add some chamfer on that for this hide this uh, fix housing and back to our return pin pad go to chamfer and add chamfer in bottom side use symmetry and use 1 mm chamfer it's okay for that okay and uh, now we are going to add a uh, threaded hole to hole and uh, select this bottom face and change this to m10 we use uh, 15 is okay and 20 is okay and press it okay now our threaded hole is completed now hide this sketch and uh, activate our top level mold base assembly and show our fix housing you can see now we are going to change the color of this return pin so you can differentiate so we are going to use green color for this okay now you can see it is perfectly match with our uh, fix housing but can see degree of freedom there are uh, three rotation and three transactional degree of freedom so we need to constant this so first we are going to move this away from our uh, assembly and uh, then update our display and uh, then go to assembly and uh, assembly constant and use this constant and we are going to select this bottom chamfer edge and select this bottom edge okay you can see this is going to be 0.5 up you can see select a vector and object this object and this object this is 0.5 because you can see this we use 29.5 for this uh, subtract in our fix housing so this uh, return pin pad can go 0.5 up now we are going to copy this move object and uh, we are going to copy this one two and three and same process we are going to use for constant this select the bottom is and constant this with bottom edge okay repeat this process select the bottom edge and select this bottom edge and apply repeat this process select the bottom edge and select this bottom edge press it okay okay now so our guide pillar and you can also pick this so you can activate all four by single click if you have any comment or questions related to die casting die design please comment below and uh, if you like this video is press the like button and if you are new in our channel please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching